While it turns out Pluto might still have an ocean underneath its icy crust, you may have missed the experimental heart device that might beat the real thing and the new Boston Dynamics bot I am obsessed with. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where tech continues its fight for the important things with an algorithm that can scan any photo and tell a stylist how to cut your hair to match. I'd like the I'm obsessed with robots, please. Perfect. Something that will definitely affect humanity one day is the Boston Dynamics Fleet O Bots, and the latest one is downright precious. The Spot Mini is brand new, stands two feet tall, and unlike the previous versions, is not hydraulic. It's powered by an electric charge that lasts about 90 minutes. More importantly, it's adorable. It has a manipulator arm that can double as its face, and while BD says it can complete a few mysterious chores autonomously, it needs human guidance for high-functioning jobs, which may include loading the freaking dishwasher or throwing trash away. After you've looped this banana peel moment about five times like I have, actually, let's just give it a moment. You'll be impressed at the way it gets right back up. I'd even like to get one to have dance parties with, cause look at it go. Unfortunately, this guy is still in prototype phase, but I'll be right here waiting, buddy. Since not everyone who needs a heart transplant can pull a real dick move. No, I'm not responsible for that. I don't know what took place between the doctors. And go to the top of the list. Researchers at the EPFL have devised a novel new device that can help your existing ticker last before getting a new or artificial one. It's made of a thin silicone strap that fits over the left ventricle and squeezes at regular intervals for up to a year while the patient waits for a biological replacement. It performs the exact same function as an artificial heart, but because it doesn't come in direct contact with blood, there's no need for the regular transfusions demanded by existing methods. Fingers crossed the next iteration will play Tony Braxton. Unbreak my heart. And now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you because it was too good not to. For the first time, C-SPAN broadcasts congressional activities from Periscope Live videos since the cameras were cut by Republicans when the Democrats took the floor for a sit-in. Volkswagen will pay out $10.2 billion to settle its emissions cheating scandal. BitTorrent launched now an open ad-supported music and video platform. Hyperloop One announced its intention to connect Europe and Asia with high-speed tunnels. And New York bans ticket-buying robots. Before you go, please enjoy Spot Mini's outtake of feeling really confused about what to do with a can. 